First at four, the FDA is considering easing the restrictions on blood donation guidelines for gay and bisexual men. Under current rules, gay and bi bisexual men are barred from donating blood if they've had sex with another man in the past three months. NBC4's Matthew Hercheck spoke with health experts in Central Ohio about what the changes mean for maintaining a safe and adequate blood supply. The FDA has restricted blood donations from gay and bisexual men since the AIDS crisis in the early 1980s, but with advocates for decades calling the practice discriminatory, those guidelines could soon change. This is not creating a risk for the blood supply. This is only making the blood supply stronger for folks who need it. That's the message from healthcare advocates after the FDA announced it's considering changes to eligibility guidelines that place restrictions on gay and bisexual men looking to donate blood. A huge part of it is making sure that policies that are developed by the FDA are policies that are informed by science, not by stigma. Under the new proposal, eligibility would change from time-based deferrals to individual risk-based assessments. When you talk about higher associated risk factors uh, with uh, HIV, that is uh, really included in anybody, whether you be a gay, straight, or bisexual. Meaning anyone, regardless of gender or sexual orientation, would be eligible to donate blood, provided they haven't engaged in certain sexual behaviors in the previous three months. It's very discriminatory and stigmatizing to exclude gay or bisexual men and donated blood, knowing that uh, the same type of uh, risk factors and uh, HIV infection can occur outside of the gay and bisexual men community. Advocacy groups and medical providers for years have called on the FDA to lift the restrictions that they say have contributed to critical blood shortages nationwide. There are many within the uh, gay and bisexual men community who would very easily roll up their sleeves and donate blood. Advocates say a change in policy is long overdue, but with the proposal maintaining restrictions on individuals taking HIV prevention medications like PrEP, they say there is still work to be done. A much improved policy would be recognizing that PrEP is highly effective at reducing the likelihood of a new HIV infection and removing that categorical ban of PrEP users from being able to donate blood. Now, the FDA is not expected to make a final decision until after a 60 day public comment period. An official with the organization, though, says they will work with blood collectors during that comment period to make any necessary changes to help them implement the new rules. Local for you in Columbus, Matthew Hertick, NBC4.